Hi guys, happy October. It is, I think it's the third, and um, I just worked a half day today, um, and I didn't have time to film my outfit this morning, so I thought I'd come on now and share it. I am, let's see, I'm not wearing any earrings or any necklaces today. Um, I'm wearing this really cool, um, I think it's supposed to be a dress from La Causa. I'll put the name probably down here. I'll definitely try to link it down below. Um, I have a few pieces by this fashion brand and I really like them. I got this from a little boutique here called Perrick and Bing that is um, definitely one of my favorite boutiques in town. I've talked about them before on my videos. And um, I really like this because it's really versatile in that I can wear it unbelted if I just kind of want a really laid back, sloppy, tomboyish look. Um, and then I can wear it belted. I feel like belting it um, makes it a little bit more dressed up. Um, and then I have even worn it open, like just completely unbuttoned as kind of a duster. So I really love this. And then I um, have it belted with this vintage belt that I got from a boutique when I was visiting Colorado. I really like this. I don't even really know if this is leather. It kind of feels like it, but it's so old that it's hard to tell. But I love this. I love this belt. And then on the bottom, I'm wearing these leather effect leggings from Spanx. They're very high-waisted. And I actually saw these leggings in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And um, I saw them online and didn't think that I would like them. And then um, the local boutiques here in town, every I think it's every year, have this collective sale. So one of the boutiques in town had this on sale, this one and the tan one. And I decided to try it on and I loved it. It, the way that it just, they're from by Spanx. I don't know if I said that, they're by Spanx. And the way it just smooths you and sucks you in is, is incredible. I love these leggings. I kind of regret not getting the tan ones, but oh well, it is what it is, right? And then on the bottom, I'm wearing these boots from Rag and Bone. These are the Rag and Bone Newberry boots in the black leather. I've had these for probably about three years and I absolutely love them. These are some of the best boots on the market, in my opinion. They're so gorgeous. And I like the way the it kind of looks like the the legs just continue into the boots. It looks like all one piece a little bit. Really, really beautiful boots and hard wearing and long lasting high high quality i love these oh and then these I, these are the sunglasses i was wearing today these are gosh how am i gonna hold on a second these are the sunglasses i was wearing today because that was what was on our console and they're just these big round oversized sunglasses with i don't think i'm going to be able to show you the detail but they have a a blue glitter rim and then gold hardware. Let's see, this is what they look like on. I love these. Uh, and that is it. I'm still carrying the same bag, the one from Luana, Italy, not Luana, New York. I really love that bag, but it's time to switch into something else because I think my other bags are getting jealous. But it's such a great bag. Any hoodle, hope everybody's having a good start to their October and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Hi guys, it's Dita. It's the weekend and I'm about to go get some things done before date night this evening with the Hubster. And so I thought I'd come on and show what I am wearing today. Um, I am, I don't know if you can tell, I am wearing makeup today. You probably can't tell. Um, it's just very strange for me to see my face like this because I'm just not used to it. You can kind of see the pop of the highlight on the lids and on the cheek. I was very proud of that accomplishment. But any hoodle, this is what I'm wearing. So I am, I'm wearing this now beloved t-shirt, Janet Jackson t-shirt. I love her. Look at her. She is the original. I love her. Um, and then on top of that, I'm wearing this 
fantastically soft cardigan from Zara in this fuchsia color that I am finding myself to be quite partial to. It is very, very soft. I can't even express, and it's not at all scratchy to wear. Really love this cardigan. I love the big pockets here. And then I'm wearing these supremely high-waisted jeans from Levi's, high-waisted skinny jeans that I have folded at the bottom. And then speaking of bottoms, I am wearing some black Converse, or the only Converse that I own. In San Francisco, you can, at the Converse store there, you can design your own Converse, and so that's what I did. And on this side, it's this um galaxy print and then on the other side it's a um it's a circular galaxy print and i chose to have fabulosity made flesh put on the shoe let me see if i can get a better view of that there that might be a little bit better fabulosity made flesh because that is how I choose to think of myself. So that is it. I hope everybody's having a good start to the weekend um, or a good day if you're having to work. And we will see you in the next outfit. Bye. Hi guys, I'm back with another outfit. It's pretty casual today. Um, I'm just going to be running errands as usual. I feel like I always have errands to run um, and making dinner with the Hubster. So, um, I'll start from the top down. So in my ears, I'm wearing these earrings that I just got. This is from one of my favorite designers, uh, jewelry designers called Betsy and Aya. I've talked about them on my channel before. This is a new collection that Betsy has come out with. What is happening with my mirror? I cleaned this. <laughs> I just, I can't be bothered. Anyway, this is from the new her new collection called Canto. Um, this comes in the brushed silver and in brushed, like kind of brassy gold. And this is in the brushed silver. I love them. I believe these come in two sizes. I think there's a size smaller than this. I will include that below, but these are amazing. They're so lightweight and they're just so cool on. Let's see if I can, yeah. Ooh, I love these. And then um, underneath my cardigan. I'm just wearing this, um, what is this called? A graphic tee that says I need my space and it's got the NASA emblem on it. Uh, and then I'm wearing this fantastic cardigan from Zara. Zara is giving me life this season. I love them, but it's really, you can see how long it is. It goes down below my calf. I think it's so beautiful and it's, um, really soft and it's got this pearl, detail down the sleeves that I just really love. I love these, or I love <laughs> this. Um, and then just some sweatpants on the bottom from Mary Meyer. And then I'm wearing my, oops, Gucci sling back Princetown loafers. And I'll be carrying the same bag that I was carrying yesterday. My, um, I don't have it in here with me. My, um, Brady bucket bag from the stove. So that is it. I hope everybody's having a good day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys. It's the end of the day and I wanted to come on and shoot another outfit before I took everything off and got ready for bed. Um, it's pretty simple, but it's really beautiful. I think I love the dress that I'm wearing, but I will start from the top down. First are these earrings, and I wanted to give you the double view because I just think they are so, I love the way they sit uh, against the back of the jaw here. They are these dome earrings from Betsy and Aya, and I've talked about Betsy and Aya before. Uh, she, Betsy is one of my favorite jewelry designers, and this is from her new collection called the Canto Collection, and I just love it. These are really lightweight and they're really comfortable and this is the brushed gold and they also come in um, a brushed silver really really love these she has an online presence and so i would really encourage you guys to go take a look 
at her designs because she's just really innovative and unique. But you can also find some pieces that are more classic. I just, I just love, I love Betsy and Aya. And then I am wearing this really pretty burgundy dress from And Other Stories. And And Other Stories is a British clothier. And I don't own anything by them. I just wanted to try them out. And I am well pleased. It's this midi maxi length dress. It's a little too short to be maxi and a little too long to be midi. I just love, first of all, the base color. I love this wine color and I love the textured striping that's in an even deeper um, burgundy color. Uh, not to mention the gorgeous floral print. It's so stunning and I love the ruffles and I love the poof of the shoulders and I love the poof of the sleeves. It's just a really, really pretty dress. Um, you can wear it tied like I did today because I wore this to work and I wanted it a little cinched, but I would also wear this untied if I wanted a more laid back vibe. And then on my feet, I am wearing my same Gucci Prince Town slingbacks that I was wearing the other day. I love these shoes. These are some of the best shoes on the market, in my opinion. I love them, love them, love them. And that is it for my outfit. I hope everybody is having a good night, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, guys. I'm back with another outfit. It's actually the same dress that I wore yesterday. So you'll have seen this dress in the clip right before this one. Um, and I decided I wanted to wear it again today. <clears throat> and I just wanted to demonstrate how changing the accessories and the hair can change the entire vibe of an outfit. So instead of having my hair relatively tame and down and having um, black flats, my camera, I don't know if it, I just skipped a beat. Anyway, so instead of having my hair relatively tame and down and wearing black flats, I have my hair up in a high bun and I paired the dress with these um, Jeffrey Campbell. What are these called? These are some of my favorite boots. I can't remember the name of the boot right now, but um, these are from Jeffrey Campbell for free people. Some of my favorite boots that I own. The mess behind me is because I shot a video yesterday. It was a whole other Oprah. You'll see those clips in this video if they make it in. Any hoodle. So yeah, and then I have the... I, yesterday I wore a jean jacket on top of this dress. And today I'm wearing my beloved J. Crew leopard print jacket. So I... I'm digging the vibe of this outfit. I think it's really cool. I'm really enjoying it. So I just wanted to come on and share it, even though um, you've already seen this dress yesterday. I have it cinched again. In fact, I have it cinched a little tighter um, than I did yesterday. Yeah, I just really like this. So hope everybody's having a good day. I'm off to, I have the day off today, so I'm off to run some errands as I always do. But I actually have a lot of self-care spa type stuff to do today, which is nice because um, I've been quite a bit stressed out. So I'm going to try to relax a bit today. I think it'll be really nice. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing well and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Good morning, guys. I just wanted to come on here and share an outfit. It's really schlubby, but I am going on a trip, going out of town for a few days. And so this is what I am wearing on the airplane. I don't think I'm going to be getting to our desk. We won't be getting to our destination until late tonight. And it's about 9.20 in the morning. So it's going to be a long trip. So I just wanted to be really comfortable. So I'm wearing this huge sweatshirt. Let's see how big it is. It's huge. From I think I got this from the Frankie shop, I think is what it's called. And um, 
and it's really comfortable, of course. And I kind of like it sometimes wearing it off the shoulder and showing a bra strap. Um, and sometimes it's so big that sometimes it just kind of flops over. I believe it was just one size fits all. And then I'm wearing these, my target pants with the zippers on the sides or on the front. And then for shoes, for boots, my travel boots are going to be my Chloe Susanna boots in white. Along with the Princetown loafers, I think this style of shoe is one of the best on the market. I love them. And I love these in white. So that's it. I hope everybody's having a good day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys. As you can probably tell we're in, or I'm in a different location. We're traveling right now. We're in Pennsylvania and I'm in our Airbnb, which is this beautiful three bedroom home that I think was built in the, I think she told us it was built in the 1920s. It's just beautiful. I haven't been filming much in the way of outfits because much of what I've worn, you've already seen, but I'm wearing something a little different today, and so I thought I would come on and show you. So on top, this is not new. You've seen these earrings before. These are my Koa hoops in the uh, with the silver and the brass detail, and this, these are in the large. These are from Betsy and Aya. I've talked about her ad nauseum. And then my sweatshirt is from... Zara and I just love this. It's a distressed, very holy t-shirt with this paint splatter pattern that I really love and writing. This one says made, made in my way. And I think there's another one that says I'm bored. No, I'm not bored. I'm not bored. And another thing that I really love about this is, yeah, you can see it, this rectangular metallic detail and there's an even larger one on the back and I'll try to show you the back if I'm able to. On the bottom I'm wearing some of my favorite pants. These are from Mary Meyer and then for shoes I'm wearing my Chloe Susanna boots in white with the silver hardware that I absolutely love. I've already scuffed them on the sides because I walk like a Clydesdale which is super annoying but I will see if my, I feel like my cobbler should be able to take care of that. Here's a shot of them from the top. I just love these. For a bag, I'm back at it with my Luana Italy bag with the snake embossed Rebecca Minkoff strap. That's what I traveled with and it has been a winner as usual and again. And that's it. It's actually pretty warm. We're back from wandering around the city and I may change into something cooler. So I might shoot another outfit today. Anyway, I hope everybody is doing well and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Good morning, guys. I am back with another outfit. I am still traveling. I'm in the same beautiful Airbnb and I wanted to pop on and share another outfit. This morning we're going to go to one of my favorite museums called the Mattress Factory. It is amazing, at least from what I remember. It's really amazing and so um, I'm sure it will still be fantastic. And then this evening we have a black tie event uh, for a friend's wedding. So I will probably come on and show you the outfit that I jimmy rigged because actually the dress that I intended on wearing it fit wonderfully, but then I didn't bother to look at the back and the back was cut really low and I didn't have a bra that I could wear with it. So I realized that the night before we left for our trip. So I panicked and went through my wardrobe and put something together that could pass a black tie. I don't know. We'll see. I'll show you guys later. Any hoodle, the outfit this morning. I really, really love this. Um, I've kind of always wanted uh, a military style shirt or jacket and this is perfect so one of the things that we did we did a couple of days ago is we went to the rock and roll hall of fame which was amazing i did not expect to love it as much as i did but it was incredible i loved every minute of it and i got this in the gift shop so anyway let me start from the top so no earrings on my neck i'm wearing this cheapy little choker from forever 21 that i've had for a while now i have one, this one is with the silver hardware. I have one with the gold hardware as well. Um, 
but I love these things. And then I have one of my favorite Lariat necklaces from, this is from Grayling Jewelry. I love this thing. And this is a silver. I'm sure, I've, I know I've talked about this before. And then this, I think it, it's a shirt. It was hanging in the women's section, but I actually think it was a men's shirt that somebody decided against after trying it on. Um, but it's this, oops, it's this uh, long army green shirt that says rock and roll here. If you can see that, rock and roll. And it has these fun patches down the side, the rock and roll hall of fame. And then I think there's more patches here. Yeah, another, I think it says long live, yeah, long live rock. And then it has these guitars here. I just really, really love this. I love how big and oversized and slouchy it is. And then I'm just wearing um, a t-shirt from, I think I got this from Aritzia. Nothing special about it, but just hangs really nicely. Really, really beautiful t-shirt. And then pants that you've already seen, kind of sweatpants from Mary Meyer. And then I'm wearing my, these loafers from, loafers, these slides from Sabika Vintage. And that is it. Hope everybody's having a good day, and I will more likely than not see you this evening if I can find a place with acceptable lighting tonight. Until then, bye. Hi guys. I almost don't even want to record this because the lighting is so poor. I will never complain about lighting in my place again, but um, I wanted to record what I am wearing to this wedding. Um, so this is kind of what I jimmy rigged. I have makeup on and but again in the lighting it just looks like I got punched in the eye. <clears throat> so I will post a picture here or there'll be one on Instagram. Hey guys, I have you, I made a tripod out of this window, I don't even know what you call this thing, lever. We'll see if this works. I'm going to try to record my outfit this way. Um, I just tried recording it in front of the mirror and the lighting is just so terrible. So I'm going to try it this way. We'll see what happens using not the bit of that natural light that's left. So I have my makeup done and I did this myself and I'm, I think I like it. I tried a smoky eye, which is pretty daring for my first full face of makeup by myself, but we'll see. And then um, I'm wearing these earrings that I got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale that I absolutely love, these dripping crystals. And this camisole that I'm wearing with this lace trim I love, I got from Target, I've shown this before. And then I'm wearing this dress uh, from Zara that instead of, I, instead of having wrapped, or instead of having it tied in a wrap, I have the edges tied together so it's more, so it's asymmetric and that comes down pretty low. I hope you can see that. Um, and it's in this really pretty, um, what would you call that? Well, some kind of green color and satiny, the satiny material. And I'm just wearing some long flowy Palazzo pants and then really high heels. Let me see if I can show you. So high, high heels. They're high for me anyway. And then I'm carrying this bag from Marie Turner. It's the lunch bag clutch. I love this thing. And so that's it. Should it be looking there? Anyway, so that is it. I hope that that worked. We'll see when I go to upload this or the video I shot previous to this. I hope everybody's doing well and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Good morning guys, it's Dita and I'm here with another outfit. We are coming to near the end of my vacation, which is very upsetting. But anyway, we're gonna go out and do some wandering around and I wanted to come on and show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, so let's see, what are we doing today? We're walking around at this outside market and then in the evening we have more wedding plans. It's a kind of a get together dinner uh, with the out of town guests. And this is the outfit I'm gonna wear during the day and in the evening, I'm just gonna switch out the shoes um, and then put on some makeup. So on top, I'm wearing these earrings that I've talked about before. These are from the Betsy and Aya Cantu collection. Cantu, Canto collection. 
that I absolutely love. And then on top, I'm wearing this really voluminous top from Zara with this floral detail, and it's kind of a satiny material. I really love this, and it's really long. Like you can see, it's really billowy. It comes down to about here when it's untucked, so it would be good. I could imagine somebody wearing this with leggings. And then on the bottom, same pants I was wearing yesterday because I only brought two pairs of pants with me on this trip along with a couple dresses so I could just kind of mix and match things. And then I'm wearing the same shoes. I'm wearing these um, Sabika Vintage loafers. I keep calling them loafers, mules. These Sabika Vintage mules that I absolutely love. Very comfortable. And I wanted to show you guys the sunglasses that I've been wearing. I bought, brought one pair of sunglasses for me to wear the entire trip. Let me grab them real quick. So these are the sunglasses I brought. These are another pair of Acne Library sunglasses. These ones are in the tortoise shell. And again, these are some of my absolute favorite sunglasses in my wardrobe. I absolutely love them. Let's see if I can focus on that. Yep, Acne Studios. And I'll just put them on. And this is what they look like on. I just think that these look good dressed up and dressed down. So I didn't feel like I needed anything other than this with me on this trip. And blessedly, I've needed these for the entire trip because it has been very sunny. So that's been wonderful. So that is it. I hope everybody's doing well. And I don't know if I'll come on in, in the evening. I'm just going to be wearing the strappy sandals that I showed you yesterday with this outfit to dress it up a little bit for the party. Um, but I will probably be on tomorrow at least once to talk about what I'm wearing then and then that will be the end of my vacation <sighs> here anyway. So sad. Anyway, hope everybody's doing well and we will see you in the next one. Bye. I decided to come back on here because I wanted to wear this cuff. I just kind of decided it was a game day decision and I really love this. I got this from a boutique near or at home, but I I can't remember who makes it or the name of the boutique and that's it so now I'm gone bye hi guys last outfit of the vacation one more wedding event I'm so bummed we leave tomorrow but it's been a great vacation I wanted to come on here real quick and record an outfit we're running a little bit late so I'm gonna try to run through it quickly um, I am wearing makeup can you see that highlight I'm loving that right now <laughs> Um, but earrings, I'm wearing the same gold earrings that I have worn nearly every day this trip from Betsy and Aya's Canto collection. And then I'm wearing this orange spaghetti strap dress. Um, I'm wearing a regular bra, so I'm not going to show, well, I'll just show you, who cares? So I'm wearing this dress. I didn't bring a strapless bra, so I'm just wearing it with a regular bra. Enter the blazer. Um, so over that I'm wearing this blazer from Zara that I absolutely love that reminds me of the Balmain collection. I love these buttons down the sleeves. And then I'm wearing my same shoes, uh, excuse my house slippers, my same shoes from Sam Edelman that I don't have buckled right now because we have to, I have to run downstairs and I don't want to run in these sandals lest I chip a tooth. So that is it. Hope everybody's doing well and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys. Back on to share another outfit with you. This is actually a late entry because this is an outfit that I wore earlier in the week. I actually posted it on Instagram, but I never had a chance to record it. I didn't have a chance to record it that day. And since it is an outfit that I wore, I wanted to make sure that I included it. So it is Friday night, very late, and I don't even know why I'm still awake. Um, and I've just put it back on so I could come on and share it with you. And then I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I am wearing, um, did I wear any jewelry? Hmm, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm not wearing any now. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm wearing this dress, um, dress, shirt dress, I guess, um, that's a little longer in the back than it is in the front. And this is from And Other Stories. So I love the colors on it too. Um, the the bright pinks and the deep magentas and the, the bright teal blues. I think it's really, really pretty. I love these flowers. I'm just really digging the autumn and winter florals. I just think it's really gorgeous. 
and then on the bottoms I'm wearing these um, you can see they're, they're kind of shiny in the light I'm wearing my um, those Spanx leggings that I got uh, on sale I love these they are so comfortable I am really considering getting the brown ones and then on my feet I am wearing my Chloe Susanna boots that I just freaking love and adore. So anyway, that's the outfit. Um, and then if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I the coat that I wore was my, um, my favorite jean jacket from Urban Outfitters. It's from the BDG line. And that's it. So anyway, I hope everybody is doing well. My voice is... When I get tired, my voice goes down s several octaves. I've been mistaken as a man multiple times, especially when I'm on call or post call. It's really annoying. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, good morning. It is Friday and this interminable week is over. And I wanted to come on and share the outfit that I'm wearing today with you. So the I'm not wearing any extra jewelry, just my wedding set and my watch that I always wear. This shirt I got from Zara and I absolutely love it. It's I love the red color. Um, red is my favorite color with the floral pattern. I just think it's really beautiful. And of course it has this velvet pussy bow and I love a good pussy bow shirt and I love velvet. So this is ticking off all the boxes. And then I'm wearing some of my favorite pants. These are pleated wide leg pants from H&M that I absolutely, absolutely love. Some of my favorite pants that I own. And then on my feet, I've got the pants pulled up kind of high to showcase the boots. So I'm on my feet wearing these sock booties, also from Zara, but these are from last either late last year or very early they might have been from very early this year but basically last winter season they're a take on the ever popular balenciaga sock boots except they have a more square toe and the heel is, is this cute little kind of conical kitten heel absolutely love these shoes super super comfortable so this is the outfit. It's going to be warm today, but it's a little chilly this morning, so I will show you the coat that I'm wearing. Okay, so this is the coat that I'm wearing, and for people super interested in fashion, it probably looks very familiar because it very much resembles the acne motorcycle coat or the motorcycle jacket that's very, very popular. And Zara has put out a coat for the past I think at least two seasons, maybe even three, that is a dupe for that coat. This isn't from either one of those places. This coat is from Urban Outfitters. I've tried on the, I feel like I tried on the Zara motorcycle jacket a couple of years ago and that I didn't like where it hit. It was too short. I love how long this is. Oops. I love how long this is. This is such, such a cool coat. So when I went, when I saw this coat, on the mannequin at Urban Outfitters, at that particular Urban Outfitters, and it was the last one, and the sales associate took it down and had me try it on anyway. It was an extra small, and it, I wouldn't say that it fit because I couldn't zip it, and you know, it was tight across the shoulders, but, um, but it didn't look bad. It looked nicely fitted, but still even a little oversized, so um, keep that in mind. This is in a medium. I tried on the medium and the large at a different Urban Outfitters and ended up with the medium. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind. Um, they This runs very oversized. I believe, if I remember correctly, the brand is Avec Les Filles. I will confirm that below, of course, but I just love this. I typically don't like moto jackets, period, on me. Um, and one of the things I don't like about moto jackets tends to be this belt detail, but for some reason with this coat, I really like it. I think it adds something. And then I just have these unbuckled, but you can certainly buckle it. It's very, very warm. It's got this faux shearling material on the inside. And this is faux leather. This isn't real leather. Just absolutely love this coat. So this is the outfit for today. I hope everybody had a good week and we'll have a good weekend and we will see you in the next one. Bye. 
Hi guys, I'm back on with another outfit. I just got back from getting my dreadlocks retwisted. I love my um, my hair lady. She is amazing. And she retwisted my locks in, I think it only took her 45 minutes this time. When we first started, it was it took, I think the first time she retwisted my, or she twisted my locks, it took like three and a half or four hours because they were just so grown out but now it takes a lot less time and i can go a lot a lot longer between retwists so it's really cool anyway that's not why any of you is here <laughs> you're here because i have an outfit to share it's not super exciting i just got through this on so i could go to the appointment it was at eight this morning so i'm wearing this dress from target um and it's a i've shown this dress before i think i hauled it even it's a cap sleeve mock turtleneck dress uh like i said from target it's from their now defunct massimo line i'm kind of i'm sad that massimo has gone because that was i really loved that brand at target but anyway i love this dress and it is midi length and then on top i showed this earlier this month this is my shirt slash jacket from the rock and roll hall of fame with the the patches on the arms I just got it rolled up. I just, I really love this. It's so comfortable and it's, it's a little cool today. Um, I think it's going to get up to maybe the mid seventies. Um, it's probably in the mid sixties right now. So this is perfect. Just throw this on and I'm completely comfortable. And then on my feet, I can't believe that I'm wearing so many white shoes lately. I never used to wear white shoes cause I'm such a disaster, but, um, I'm loving these. Oops. These shoes were inspired by my husband. He got a pair with the really cool mint green uh, color where I have the pink. And I saw them and I was like, what are those? And why didn't you get me a pair? <laughs> and so I got a, bear t a pair too in the pink. Um, and these are um, from Adidas. I'll give you a top view. These are from Adidas and they are a collaboration between Adidas and Pharrell. I don't know much about the collaboration, but I do know that I love these shoes. They're very lightweight. And then I'm just carrying uh, this bag that I've been carrying a lot lately. This is my Brady bucket bag from the Stowe that I absolutely love. This is one of my absolute, absolute, absolute favorite bags in my wardrobe. It's such a great bag. You can wear it over the shoulder and you can wear it crossbody. I often wear it crossbody and it's kind of a higher crossbody, but I like that look. So yeah, and that's it. So sunglasses I showed before, I'm still wearing the same uh, acne sunglasses in the tortoiseshell. So that is it. Hope everybody's having a good day. I am going to try to bust out video after video. I have one that I need to edit this one actually. And oh my goodness, so many to film. I'm so behind because of vacation and whatnot. So, and work, but anyway, hope everybody's having a good day and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, it's Dita and I am back with another outfit. I have high tea today with some fabulous ladies. And so I just want to come on and share what I will be wearing. So I'll start from the top. I'm wearing my, I can't remember the name. So I'll just call them my brass sunrise earrings from the Canto collection from Betsy and Aya. I'll put the actual name down in the, down below. And then I'm wearing this awesome jumpsuit from Zara with the ruffling in the front and on the straps. And it comes down to just above the ankles. And I really love the print. It is the, this Prince of Wales check print. And then underneath that, I'm wearing this very slim fitting turtleneck in a deep navy blue that I got from Club Monaco. I've had it for many, many years. And then you've already caught a sneak peek on my feet. I'm wearing my now beloved yellow sock boots, also from Zara. They're very Balenciaga inspired. They're extremely comfortable and I just love them. So this is a look of the whole outfit together. I just love it. <laughs>
So that's it. I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm on my way out and we will see you in the next one. Bye.